David Grunfeld. David Grunfeld. And your Hebrew name is Puma Dovid, yeah? Dovid Grunfeld, yeah, yes. If, so if it would be Yitzhak, it would be a problem. Okay. What, what's your company? My company name is Plumbing Compliance. And it's basically uh, based out of New York City, the Tri-State area. In the management, in every single building in the management industry, there's a lot of compliance in the plumbing industry that you need a licensed plumber to sign off a job. Either it's annually, quarterly, and it's very hard for management companies. Let's slow down. First, it's very interesting. Let's describe okay. it. Let's start. Sure. With, let's back up a second. First of all, how old are you? 33. Okay, it's not to be embarrassed. Everything is black by your beard. It's fine. Okay, no, okay. It's all good. And how did you, you were your plumber before? What did you do beforehand? I'm doing plumbing already for like 11 years. Oh, you've been a plumber? Yes. Okay, so how did you develop this business before I understand what it is? Um, I was working for a plumbing contractor, and in 2019, there was a local law 152 rolled out in New York City. Explain which, that in English. It's local law 152 is a, gas, a pediatric gas inspection for every building. In, again, in the five boroughs, basically the government, the city, woke up one day. There was a blowout in Borough Park, I don't know if you remember, on 13th Avenue on the Shabbos. Um, actually, it was in a Yontif. So then they realized that after 10 years, which is the number of years, they decided that is every, almost every single thing in the building is getting replaced. Either it's doors, moldings, repaint, new fixtures, everything, but somehow, when you finish a building with the gas, you're getting a gas sterilization that's a one time and you could have gas for 100 years. Okay. Is it still safe or not? So they decided that every four years you need to, ha you need to have a gas inspection to make sure that the building is still safe from the post-construction. You should have an explosion, yeah. Yes. So that's how I got introduced. I was actually doing a job site for a <coughs> big management company and he called me up. He this said, is gas, not plumbing. This, uh, gas is plumbing. Oh, okay. Explain that. In, in plumbing is four main factors in plumbing, which is sewer, gas, water, and sprinklers. Okay. Sprinklers is different, but it's also in sort of a... But this, uh, is spe this is specifically for gas lines, not plumbing lines. That's correct. So ga gas is in plumbing. It's part so of the department. So you can't have just gas without plumbing. Correct. Obviously not. But you're also inspecting the plumbing line, the sewer line also, or just no, the gas lines? No, because it doesn't matter for the city if your sewer is going to back up or if your water is going to uh, be okay. burst. So once, once again, I understand that in the same field, but it's a little different lines to check. That's Only correct. thing you have to check was the gas line. Th yes. Gotcha. Okay. Then he, he, uh, this, I was doing the job. It was 2019. And he called me up. He says, David, you are my go-to guy in plumbing. There's a new law coming out in 2020. They're going to start to force it. I want you to look into What's it. What's that law that to check what? The local law 152 to check which the is gas, gas line. Which is gas check it out for me. I called them up, I'm gonna do all your buildings. And I told for my boss then that I'm gonna start doing the gas tests and what do you think about it? He said, no, we are plumbing contractors, we're not. I said, can I do it on my own? He said, yes. So I started doing it on the side and then I got to know that there is water mains needs to be inspected every single year. Then I got to know there's boiler inspections annually. And then I was like, I turned heads and I started knocking doors on people and they were saying, you're only doing the local one for you to do. What's doing with this? What's so doing the with money, that? money, the money flashing in your eyes over here. So I was like, yeah, I'm using, for boilers, I'm using this guy. Mm. For the water, I'm doing using this guy. And for the gas inspection, I don't know of anybody yet because it's a new law. You have to do everything for me. That's when I decided. Or the other way, in other words, you came to do gas. You say, let me do this as well. Yes, but I, I'm, again, I, even today, I'm, I'm focusing on the gas more than the other, but I'm doing the other inspections as well. That's, that's um, the main reason what I found in specific in the management lines. They, it's very hard to keep track on everything. So it's, they have to keep track on two, from two ends with all these inspections. Number one is which inspection <coughs> has to get done and which time. And then once it's done, they have to keep track which one was done when, if they have to pull it out, evidence for the DEP or whatever. How many people work in your company today? I have four people. It's me and, and the, the difference and what I'm about to get there is, I saw this these two issues from knowing when you need to do which inspection. The law and that, Yes, but the law requires, needs to be, let's say the gas inspection needs to be done once in four years. Every year is a different area. A management company who manages 100 properties, they need to calculate ah. which, and then when it was done, where, do I, where did I put all the, all the filings? That's when I opened up on my website, which is together with the app that I'm using, it's a time management app. So whenever someone is calling me in, my strong point is my back end office. Mm. So if someone is calling me in, they're talking to one of my uh, secretaries, it's getting added on the app, which only I'm seeing. Which app is this? Uh, Sitepad. Okay. Okay, and they did for me a custom integration with my website. 
I think I get what you're saying. You're basically saying like this. Instead of coming to a company that's supposed to be a big company, has a lot of buildings, and say, look, I do this. So I do it all. I will take care of you. I'll call you when this needs to get done. I'm in charge of it. Forget about it. Let us plug and play. That's correct. And mm -hmm. they, always, they always have access on my website to see which one was done. So they know when they go up to my website, they can always see Very which cool. is on schedule, what notes I did by the inspection, which one was done, all the paperwork, which was uploaded, which is not. Do you do the inspections yourself? I have to, yes. I, I am a Task 8687 holder, which is a under li license. Say that account. again slowly and in English. Task 86 and Task 87. Okay. Which is specific that I can do the inspections under a licensed plumber, and I have to be the one doing the inspections. So you, so you do all the, so what do you need employees for? <laughs> you do Only the back end office. Really? So basically a one man show with a lot of with a team. Yes. That's fascinating. Wow. And so what brings you to the show like this? What do you do here? It's amazing um, to, see, to see over here the platform where you, I, first, two things. Number one is I see my existing customers. I mean, every single alley walk down. And is your here, first year here? It's my third year here. Okay. Um, have you found business from this? People amazing, recommend you? Amazing. I have seen the, the la last year and I see this year <laughs> how much, um, Exposure, exposure, it's out there. People see you, they talk. I mean, I'll just ask you straight up, right? In a certain sense, I don't mean, I mean with all due respect, it's a boring business. I mean to say it's something that has to get done, you just do it. So the question is, any building that's been doing it till now, well, why are you better? Like, they have their inspector, or they need so, to. So, again, they don't know when it's built, when it's the which one. I keep, I, 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 no, no, no. I tell for all these, and I'm focusing on the big management companies. Don't get me wrong, I don't throw away even a single building. I gotcha. I tell for them, let me be your secretary. Mm, yeah, I understand. This is a niche that nobody's doing. I got control. Well, listen, you seem like you schmack a guy for a boring business. I'm quitting, right? You schmack a guy. Well, how do you deal with stress? Final question. How do I deal with stress? With Toyota. Explain that. Uh, every single day at 4 o'clock, I close my phone and I learn. PM. 4 p.m. And yeah, you do what? And I learn. And I see the, the stress from the day what goes do you learn away. With? What do you learn? I learn with my Chavrisa and I just finished two days ago in Sekhtis Tamira. Tamira, wow. But, it, but the funny part is, a day, my, my uh, day is full of stress every single day. I mean, of course, we have, I have a schedule. Nothing is going according to schedule. Avada. After three years, I don't even know why I'm still working of with course. the schedule, but that's the only way I'll Throw away your phone. But it comes 4 o'clock. I start learning. After learning, I'm getting home as a new person. Addison, like, what the, and nobody, what if someone wants to reach you to me after four o'clock? In the construction management slash management, four o'clock is towards the end of the day. Uh, if you have a strong team in the office, and it's not like you could, you could. I, I believe that everybody in the industry you know, can do it. Second person today to say the end of four o'clock and they go to learn. So listen, someone do that, and I appreciate it, and I'm still looking at everything.